So take a look at the Orblon Cordless Mini Chainsaw. That's cool. Actually comes with a nice case. We got our instructions. It actually comes with a bottle of oil. We got a file for sharpening the teeth, got a cleaning brush, and it actually comes with an extra chain. So here is the saw. Nice, tiny little thing. One of the big things about this that I really like is that I got pretty big hands and this actually fits my hands, no issue. Do have a rubber handle on here. The yellow is plastic. It's got rubber on both sides. It even has a little rubber here right on top of the battery compartment. It is brushless, which is very important. That means that the motor is gonna last longer, it's gonna have more power, and it's not gonna make that smoke smell that you sometimes get with brushed motors. Now this is something you'd never see on a mini chainsaw. This actually has a lubrication tank. So we've got a little bulb right here. We press that in. And that is going to automatically lube the chain. So very important if you want to make sure that the bar as well as the chain lasts a long time. This tells us how to lube it. And it also lets us know that we have a lock on here. So we can unlock. And if it's in the middle, it is locked. So we won't be able to pull the trigger. And it's ambidextrous. So that's nice. It does have a spring guard on the top. It is one thing I really like to see. We do not actually need a tool in order to do maintenance on this guy. So toolless design, very important. Especially if you don't want to be carrying around a screwdriver. You want to be able to access everything that's in here. So if we ever need to replace the chain, we want to make sure, of course, we got the battery out. All I'm doing is pushing that back. And now the chain is nice and loose. So we can take the whole bar and pop it off. You can see there is a slot in the bar and all of these teeth are going to fit inside that slot. It says this side is up and we want to make sure that the teeth are going the correct direction so that we're actually cutting our wood. And we can wrap that back around the wheel, fit that in, and we are tensioned again. So very easy to actually change that chain out. So then for the oil, it's a good idea to use proper bar and chain lube whenever you're going to be doing this because if you use something that's thinner, it's just going to fling right off. Bar and chain lube is typically fairly sticky and tacky. There does not appear to be a max line, so you can probably just top this guy off. I'm going to leave a little bit of space in there. So that's interesting. I was wondering what this extra cap was. That is just in case you lose the one that's on the saw. Very nice that they put an extra in there. And then if we follow the instructions on here, we want to tilt it so that the oil can run down the chain. And then we press the bulb a couple of times. And we can see that bulb is now filled up with oil. So there is a lot of very nice additions that they put on this mini chainsaw that you did not see on other mini chainsaws. We also have safety glasses. Nice that they included those. And we have got a battery. 3 amp hour, 20 volts. We've got our charging point there on the top. We can just plug our charger in. And it says that's rated for 100 to 240 volts, so that's good for a national domestic. It outputs 1.2 amps at 21 volts. Very cool. Now one of the really nice things about this is that it is actually compatible with DeWalt batteries. So here I've got a DeWalt XR. You can see that it looks like pretty much the same thing. That does click in. And that does run it. But a 3 amp hour battery, that should last a long time. So that little guy cuts beautifully. That is an awesome little chainsaw.